ch ch chili dog. Hey guys, what's up? It's David Player 90. We're back for the second of three preseason races for the two before the 2005 Shop Right Series season. The preseason 50. It's gonna come at Pocono. Um so that's gonna be fun to watch. 20 laps. Last year's preseason 50 had a thriller finish between Sergi Thompson and Aaron Abel. Let's see who makes it in this race. Looks like Zhang Zina DNQ is very strange. Car number 01 is in. That's Joni Macek. Uh, but that's an, obviously an open car in the signups that has not been filled yet as of the making of this video. Vernon Davis doesn't make it in this time. Um, car, uh, Kyle Petty didn't make it the 45 car. And then we got a few other guys. Landon Weeks, he's a new guy you have not seen yet. Even though he's been in the series, it's just a car that didn't make the last race. Anyway, the poll is going to go to Eric Drew again. Two straight polls in the preseason race. He's looking strong. He's going to be up front. Meanwhile, last place goes to Jet Meme. Now let's do Happy Hour. Skyler Taylor out in front. Drew back up again. Josh Drake, a previous Pocono winner, is up there too. Jerry Drive. Excuse me. And at the end, it's going to be Jerry Drive winning happy hour. Man, that took long. Jerry Drive wins happy hour. And no blurry cars this time, so now you're going to see the full detail of these cars. So, enjoy. As you remember, some of these cars obviously didn't get their paint scheme switched. The defending champion, Christopher Abel, didn't get a paint scheme switched. Uh, Josh Drake kept his paint scheme. Christopher, um, uh, Jerry Drive kept his paint scheme. Rutherford, WBR, kept his paint scheme. He's just with a different manufacturer. As you can see, it's a little different, but most likely the same. Anyway, Green Flag comes out. Eric Drew leads us again. The all-time wins leader, he already has 10 career wins in the series. Other than him, Christopher Abel is the only one with more than four. Abel has eight. Everyone else has four or less in the two seasons that have been played. Wait, they're racing already mad fast. Drew clears drive on a slide job. And Drew keeps the lead. His, his brother, Pep, who was a rookie last year, made all but the 500. Uh, he's already up in the top five with a push from Ricardo Vega. He's pushing Noel up there. Drive up in the wall. Drew Eric drew hard into the wall. And we got cars spinning in the back. Skyler Taylor's around with Josh Turner. Landon Weeks goes up with the Joe Nemechek. They're wrecking in the back as the caution comes out. Pep Drew trying to get to the inside of Noel. Let's see who's going to get it. I think the 12 got the run off the corner. And that he did. 12 will win back at the line. Check out what happened here. We got a few cars getting into a little scuffle coming off turn number, the tunnel turn. Now it looks like Skyler Taylor and Harry Oddball, fellow rookies, they just slide up into each other and they just hit the wall. Around he goes. Turner went around. Weeks was just trying to save it and then he ended up sliding into the 01. Yeah, Oddball nowhere to go. Everyone else had to just kind of slow down to make it through. Alright, so an early caution puts a single file. Man, these... Oh, we got cars pitting on lap 3. Interesting. So, cars pitting. Some don't. That's interesting. Let's see who's going to be the leader. The leader is going to be Aaron Abel in the number 14. We got Winford, Bradford, Rutherford, Luke Anderson, Colin Cropley, Sergi Thompson, James Carson, Jeffrey Chev, Tom Sloan, Jet Meme, Adam Beverly, Lolo's Art, and Aiden Johnson all staying out. I mean, we gotta get it. Meanwhile, we got a huge, looks like a gassing go stop. Interesting, some fuel strategy coming into play. I guess Eric Drew's fixing his right side damage. I think Noel was able to beat everyone out, or Pep Drew, I wasn't looking. So other than Eric Drew, only the cars that were involved in that accident are still in the stall. Oddball just got out, Landon Weeks got out, and there goes Skyler Taylor, and there goes the 97. So the 97 falling all the way back from... What well, was like third place all the way back to the 30s? No one's gonna be out after the accident except for Joe Nemechek in car number 01. 
Of course, when the main season starts, their names will be the non-signups if they don't have a signed-up driver at that time. Just so you guys know. Aaron Abel and WBR12 right now. And now, last year, teammates had cars of different manufacturers, but just to be more organized, there is manufacturer teammates this time, as I don't actually, let me explain something during the caution lap. There's a grand total of one full-time Pontiac right now in the series. He's driving number 10, Snickers. He is JoJo. Where is he? Where is JoJo at? He's somewhere in here. Actually, just to make it easier, let me just find out here he's running in the back there's only one other pontiac gonna be field and it's actually a Shoprite series all-star car i'll explain that uh later on because they're about to go green flag anyway green flag comes out lap number six 15 laps to go aaron abel out in front of winford bradford rutherford swings down to the inside with luke anderson going with him Rutherford's going to take the lead, but Anderson gets to his inside. The 14 slows down. Good thing, so he didn't make it three wide. They're making it three wide behind them as Aiden Johnson was in the wall. Got cars going three wide in the top 10. Anderson takes the lead. Colin Cropley going to his inside. Aaron Abel makes it three wide. Almost. He, he almost did as Rutherford scrapes the wall. We got other cars scraping the wall. Bonky, bonky, bonky. Weeks almost spun out there again, but he saves it. Jeffrey Chev forcing Tom Sloan way up high. As we got cars going, Luke Anderson will lead that lap. He is pretty far away as Colin Cropley is getting a push from James Carson to get to second place. The uh, fast lap is not even worried about it. This Barely even done green flag. Rutherford with a huge run as they come into that corner. The seven slide, it's way high. Has to check up so he doesn't smell am the wall. That's going to allow Rutherford to get to his inside and take the lead. Colin Cropley going with him. Carson staying behind in suit. Still cars in the wall. But a lot of cars going single files to go toward the back. Cars don't know which line to take. Four wide as they come off four. Drake, Wales, Grogu, and the preseason 25 winner, Jim Reese Brown. Got a couple cars pitting. We have Pep Drew, Jimmy Reed in the 48. And it looks like Landon Weeks comes in once again. Looks like Noel also picked because he's way, he's all the way in 41st all by himself. So I didn't notice when the 12th hit. So we got some different strategies coming on early in this race as Rutherford continues to lead. Cropley in second. Rutherford still holding on to that bittersweet loss of the 2004 championship. He lost it by 15 in the end, but the thing that dawned him the most is that he had won D&Q early in the year at Texas. Had he just made Texas and started the race, he would have won the championship most likely. Anyway, we got cars coming in again. I don't know what Jet Meme is doing. He makes contact with Sloan. I think the 17's coming in. That was very risky strategy. No, he's not. He just went way down. I don't know what he was doing. That was some really not okay racing right there. Landon Weeks coming out on coming out of pit road. All by himself. Rutherford and Cropley probably gonna have to get around the 86. Oh, it looks like this he's not gonna be much of an issue. He's already back up to speed with them. Weeks was involved in that wreck, so he probably has some damage hindrance to him right now. Rutherford going to get around and lap him. Oh, Weeks was in the wall. Cropley's getting loose. He saves it. What a save by Colin Cropley. I think some cars are paying because they're going all the way to the bottom lane before the turn. Coming on to lap number 10, let's see if anybody pits, because I thought somebody was for a second, and no, they weren't. I don't know what I was thinking. Now, Rutherford's starting to get a little bit of a gap now. Aiden Johnson looks like he came in. Came out already, I think. Yes, he did. Now, these guys are all trying to get him around weeks. Beverly had to slow down so he didn't bump into the 8. These guys are actually racing smart, which I'm surprised about. 
Rutherford holding this lead as the fast lap has been Lolo's art in that number 8 BHL Chevy. Other than Beverly here, the only other card that I'm surprised is actually performing really well. James Carson running almost top 5 here. He's been running with these leaders as his teammate leads. His other teammate is in the back. Rookie Lenny Carson, where is she at? She's toward the back. Yeah, she's battling here with Christopher Abel. It's like these guys were off the pace. This pack toward the back here. Including the 03 champion, Asher Byron. We got these guys on the little group. Eric Drew hasn't been able to catch back up recently. Meanwhile, we got these guys here. This is like the mid pack just outside the top 10. Oh, we got a blown up engine. Noel blows up, it looks like, at, while he was racing. Man, he was a lap down. He was doing that weird strategy. He blows up. He's going to... I don't know. Wow, I got to watch that pack. All right, he takes the road down the bottom. He blows his engine too early in this race. He will be out of the running. Oh, big slide up. We got big slide ups going on. Oh, no. We definitely got cars pitting now. Aaron Abel comes in as they're starting to become single file now toward the front. As they just continue to try to hunt down Winford, Bradford, Rutherford. Colin Cropley has been staying in that second spot. Third has been kind of getting swapped around. Adam Beverly driving number one. Lolo's are eight and Anderson seven. They're making contact. Beverly, remember, he's in a brand new car this year. Last year, he was driving number 45 in his rookie year. Didn't perform all that great despite having some bad luck come his way. He goes to team as tracker racing in the number one. Is I think we got a caution out. Uh, yes, we do. Caution is out. Uh, yeah, Beverly, his, the driver of that one car for the last two seasons has been Logan Revler, but he moved down to Whole Foods for now full time anyway we'll see what that cautions out cautions for and that's gonna screw up everyone doing this strategy here so i think aaron abel and jim sales got kind of screwed and anyway, we'll see what that caution is out for as they all race back to the line now let's see what in the world we're this pace car complaining about we're gonna have a a little bit of a dash now. It looks like the spin came out here. Harris Wales, indeed, it was right here in that weird mid pack coming outside the top 10. Looks like as they come off the corner, Rob Rody slides up into Tom Sloan. Yeah, they little bit of a beating there. He slides up into Chev, and then Chev just slides down to the 9. Bonks onto the 97 of Eric Drew and just spins out in front of the field. All by himself, though, but since he was behind, in front of other cars, they had to throw the caution out. At least he saved it. Not heavy damage on that Puma Dodge. Um, but yeah, caution will come out for that. Now, let's see if these guys pit for... I'm pretty sure they will. Yes, we already... I see some guys pitting already. But I guess they weren't. I don't know. Yes, we got a few guys. Luke Anderson, Colin Cropley, and Tom Sloan looking like the only ones so far. Anybody else? Uh, Jeffrey Chev comes in. And it looks like it's just going to be a four car. Oh, Harris Wales comes in as well. Oh, Wales with some damage on the front. He probably rammed into some car under caution. I hate when they do that. Have to be the 42. So yeah, only four cars pitting, or five. Quick pit stop, some right sides, fuel, the 9 is probably going to head out. Yeah, he does. He has no reason to keep going. All right, so three cars out of the race. Harris Wales, Noel with that blown engine, and Joni Macek. Fast slap is still R as Colin Cropley beat everyone off pit road. I think he was the only one of that group that did a gas and go. Landon Weeks is a lap car, but he's not going to be on the inside because we're within 10 laps remaining. So... Let's see. They're going to keep going. All right. Lap number 17, they're going green. So they're going to have four laps shootout. Caution will end it most likely. So. Okay. Coming to the green flag. Rutherford, Beverly, Art, Meme, and Chorus in your top five. Green flag comes out. Four laps remaining in the preseason 50. Fred already swings down the inside before everyone else follows suit. Beverly getting a push 
from Lolo's Ark to the front. The defending preseason 50 winner is moving up. That is Sergey Thompson driving number 21. He slides up on a Carson. They're wrecking in front. Caution comes out in front of the field before Bong knew it. Ricard, oh my goodness. Aaron Abel gets destroyed. Never mind, it was Kelvin Bronze in the 15 who slammed into Rutherford first. They're all scrambling back to the line. Lolos are all by himself, might win this race. He is all by himself. He, yeah, he's definitely going to win this. He's going to cruise to the line as they come under caution. These guys are all scrambling to get their final positions. Dario Sanchez had a great run at Chicago Land before he got destroyed. He's going to probably finish top 10 at 7th. As they throw the caution out, huge wreck as the leaders completely kill themselves. Tough break for those guys. They were running very well, especially Beverly and uh, Rutherford and Aaron Abel. So yeah, the one just, yeah, they just got hooked coming off too. That, yeah, I can't really say much more about that. The one just spun out 32. And, and you can see here, watch the 32. Look at Drake. What an arrow avoidance here. Drake... I mean, Bronze completely slams the 32, and um, then does that. And you can see that how Aaron Abel is just completely, completely destroyed. Now let's check that out again from another angle. Let me go check. Uh, where's the 14? Yeah, here's Abel. Check this out. Bro gets absolutely clobbered. This actually might be a bad angle. Look at this right here. Boom, and then Anderson. I don't know how the 7 managed to avoid that. No idea how that just happened. Let me check out on that onboard. Look, he has smoke completely in front of his face. Here's the 14. Just gets slammed. Cropley barely survived. The 7, I don't know how he did that. Look at slow. Oh my gosh. Abel's own teammate dodged that. And Chev, he's behind the 4. It just gets completely killed. As you can see, they get, this is when they get slowed down because Kelvin Bronze was at... He has heavy damage at 15. He's right there. That's a bad hit. Not to mention, he hits sails, slams into the wall. Yeah, and that just halted everybody. Anyway... Race coming to a close. They're racing under caution. The final lap. Sergi Thompson's been moving up these fields, even though he qualifies like a madman. He's going to finish third, but Lolo's Art was a championship contender last year. He's going to start off the year strong, gets the win in the preseason 50. Lolo's Art gets it done. Jet Meme second, Sergi Thompson third, Fred Ford, Josh Drake. Jerry Drive, Dario Sanchez, Elliot Monroe, Gavin Grogu, and defending champion Christopher Abel, your top 10. James Carson had a good run, but he ends the year, ends the race 16th. But yeah, there's the end of that. I guess sales had to pit because of all that damage. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.